Welcome. My name is Sri Ilapralu. I'm the director for AWS's Generative AI Innovation Center. It's a new program that we launched last year to help customers be successful with Gen AI as they think about use cases, think about which business value that they're going to drive. Uh, we engage with customers, help customers through their journey, and uh, help them be successful in that gener- journey. I'm glad to have uh, one of our guest speakers here, Pasquale Di Maio, um, and, and we'll go through a series of questions to talk about and learn more about what Pasquale and his team are doing with Generative AI. Uh, with that, I'll welcome you. And uh, please introduce yourself and maybe talk a little bit about what you do at Amazon and uh, anything more that you want to share. Yeah, I'm happy to. Thank you. Um, and you got my name perfect. Pasquale DeMaio is a tough one and you nailed it. I'm the vice president for Amazon Connect, which is a service in AWS. Um, we're one of the fastest growing services of all time, in fact. And the thing that we deliver for folks is the ability to create um, amazing customer experience outcomes. And really, anytime you ever contact Amazon, it runs through these services. At the same thing, we've now made that available for anyone who wants to use that to great, provide great customer service outside of Amazon as well. It's awesome. How's, um, I mean, just curious, knowing that Amazon is using those capabilities, just can you talk a little bit about how, how Amazon leverages this technology and how AWS plays a role in that? Absolutely. So we started really as a tool for Amazon internally. And when we saw what we had built and saw how interested other customers were in the fact that we were delivering great customer service with it, we decided, you know, what could we do to take that to them as well? And so what we actually did is we looked at the great customer service we were delivering as we try to strive to be the Earth's most customer-centric company and said, how could I help you with that Intuit or Capital One or Barclays? And the answer was they were very excited about being able to deliver that for their customers. So we took that and we packaged it into a wonderful solution. Um, I often say we were really looking to solve problems, not build just a product. And that really changes the way you think about this. And the problem we wanted to solve was having that experience. Maybe you have a, you know, you need to, you want to buy something. Maybe you want to return something. Anything that could happen that could go wrong, you end up having to contact Amazon. Our goal was to make it so that you were actually more um, loyal and liked Amazon better after you had a problem. Now, we never want you to have a problem. But if you do have one, we think, hey, we can make this such a good experience that you actually like Amazon more. So all of our customers are trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Can you talk, maybe give some examples of customers that are doing some interesting work with Connect? Yeah, um, you know, Connect, one of the big calling cards of Connect since day one is native integrations with AI. And so we've got a ton of customers who are using that every day on every contact. Um, some of my favorite ones who are doing stuff, if I look at DoorDash, for example, they actually um, they actually took and implemented our IVR, the technical term for the thing you talk to when you call in. Um, they implemented it in two months, and they have hundreds of thousands of contacts cumulatively that come in every, every um, day. And now what's happened is they are handling those contacts so much more effectively. For example, you ever call up and you get transferred. Well, they're able to cut down those transfers 49% with this technology. And that inc- that results in a tremendous savings and efficiency for their agents as well. So they are cutting seconds off of every call. And that adds up to more time agents spend helping the next customer versus wasting time not helping a customer. I mean, I would imagine in addition to productivity gains, cost efficiencies, it's also helping customer satisfaction scores go up quite a bit. Yeah, the great thing about customer service is I've, good customer service is almost always faster and cheaper than bad customer service. I very rarely hear someone call up and say, hey, I got my problem solved and it was terrific. I just wish it took longer. Well, those savings add up to millions and millions of dollars if you can just take a few seconds off, never mind 90 seconds, which in some customer cases, we see people removing 90 seconds of time just by using our generative AI-based summaries at the end of the call so they can wrap up the call so much faster. That 90 seconds is now instead of spent typing and taking notes, which is not what you want your agents to be spending their time doing, is now spent helping the next customer and where an agent can actually um, bring that human magic to the conversation. When you're using the technology to take things out of the way of the agent, then they can really focus and build empathy and sympathy with the customer, understand the problem and, and focus truly on solving that problem. And some of these problems are pretty complex and sometimes the customers are pretty upset. And so the thing about that is these agents really want to be able to focus. And that empathy is a big part of what allows the agent to defuse that situation and take someone who's upset, having a bad day, maybe having a problem that they're concerned won't get fixed and really make that experience one where the person could take a deep breath and turn that whole conversation around, maybe turn that whole person's day around. Right. Awesome. You touched on uh, generative AI uh, over the last 12, 24 months, roughly. Generative AI has been the thing that uh, every customer, every application is talking about. Can you maybe give us a little bit more details as to how contact centers are using Gen AI and how, in particular, Connect leverages Gen AI? 
Absolutely. Um, you know, as I said, native uh, connect is used AI natively from day one. We've offered a, uh, the ability to understand speech, but Gen AI is a revolution in some of these capabilities and being able to understand conversations and being able to craft better responses. Uh, the thing about it, though, is customers don't want just a revolution and to throw it all the amazing work they've done. What they really want is to be able to take the things they're doing well and supercharge them. And so the way we've done it in Connect is we've actually made it incredibly simple to use these features um, and to only use them when you want to. And I'll give you some examples of this. Uh, we had summaries in Connect prior to this, but the summaries using more legacy AI tools were often long and they cleaned up the conversation, but it was still hard to get through. Gen AI is exceptional at understanding that conversation and boiling it down to a few sentences that are so much more useful and so much more easy for someone to read afterwards that our customers didn't have to do anything to get that benefit. We just turned it on for them if they were using summaries. It's a huge win for them though. Similarly, when we look at the way we people automate experiences, there are times when you want to have something where you want to be very rigid in the way you automate something. For example, if you're doing a bank transfer, you don't want anything that's sort of generating a magic out of that. What you want is to be very sure that you understood exactly what the customer want and you did it exactly the way they wanted it to. Other times, though, you'll have a question that might be somewhat complex or oddly worded. That's where generative AI can really help because it can understand those interesting conversations and provide either an input to say, hey, I think this person wants to do a transfer, even though they, maybe they said it a little funny, or maybe this person's asking a question about bank office hours and what kind of what they expected, um, you know, a tire would be for my first day at work or something like that at the, at the, um, at the branch, something like that. That's something where Jenny, I can go find that answer and bring it back much more effectively than any legacy AI tool. We've built it so that you can use all of those tools at once and connect without having to choose one. You can pick the best one for every single question. You can even fall back if you aren't, if you can't detect that it's a bank transfer, but you think it's something interesting and then pass it off to Gen AI, have it come back and ask the customer, is this what you wanted? And then of course, you can always take all that context, seamlessly pass it to the agent, and then they know what the conversation was. So you don't have that horrible experience of asking again and again, the same questions, you know, they have so many other times and, you know, when you call them places in the past. Yeah. As customers are adopting Connect, uh, and scaling to a very large scale deployment. Are there any lessons learned that, that perhaps would be helpful for the audience? Yeah, I think the thing that I always say to customers is you probably already have a contact center and you obviously don't want to ever take a step back. So let's make sure we're capturing all the things you're doing great. But let's look for those few, a few very key things you want to do, like fewer transfers, faster handle times that you want to improve upon. And then listen, think about which ones would be the ones where you can really clearly measure those. Make those changes at first. Now, the great thing about Connect is you'll get those wins right away. You'll save a lot of money, maybe even pay for all the entire Connect bill and the money you save by getting more efficient. But then the nice thing with Connect is after that, you're not going to be stuck in the same situation you have been. Legacy systems are very hard to change and very expensive. With Connect, what you find is you can continue to innovate every day. We have customers like Intuit who run experiments continually to improve their customer service and are making changes all the time. And they went from being able to run a couple experiments a year to running hundreds. Awesome. Any interesting stories you want to share? Any uh, details that would be helpful? Um, well, I would say the great thing about Connect is you can get set up in just a few minutes and take your first call. So I always encourage people to try it themselves. You could have one that called up and they'd say, hey, this is Shri. Press one if you want to get drinks. Press two if you want to go to dinner. Press three if you want me to tell something to my friend, you know. And uh, and of course, you could now bring Gen AI into that and they say, hi, what, what do you want to talk to me about? And they could then decide whether or not you want to call them back faster or not. <laughs> But um, but for our customers who have more serious applications of it, the thing I say is don't be afraid to innovate. Try some stuff because we can just A-B test things. We can turn it on and off really quickly. We can get the data right away. Don't be afraid to really make changes here in controlled ways where you learn. Um, but we can just change it back if it doesn't work. You know, we can do 5, 10, 20 iterations and see which ones work. We can look at the long-term results as well. So I would say, let's go do this together. We'll partner with you, but let's go do it. It's a really exciting time to be working on this stuff. Awesome. What's next? Um, well, we have a ton of stuff we've just launched. Um, and so people are now using email and connect. People are able to use Gen AI in more areas than they were previously. Uh, we had some really cool features with um, our outbound campaigns capabilities where now we can do proactive customer engagement. And so one of the things customers are starting to do is actually look at their their um their customers' behaviors and what they know about them and the events that are going on and actually reaching out to them before the customer, maybe before the customer even knows they have a problem, but before the customer even contacts them. So they prevent that having to have the, co the caller call and explain, but instead they say, hey, are you, you know, is this an issue you want us to correct on your behalf? 
And so you can imagine a situation where if your plane is delayed, maybe we give you a, maybe your rental car company says, hey, you know what you, you might want to think about is um, we, instead of worrying about whether or not your car is, so we're going to let you know right away, your car is waiting for you. We know your plane was delayed. You don't have to rush. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for spending some time with us and I uh, appreciate you. Yeah, thank you so much. This is great. Awesome.